The fallout continues from the midweek action as Rangers beat Aberdeen and there was a bit of corruption, wasn't there? Last night, banter aside, uh, Matty Miles comes in and we have to address this guy first off, right? We have to cut the head off the snake in order to kill it. And let's talk about him, shall we? Because still no mention of the Fireways agreement, little foreign guy. Still reading other people's news, no original content, still. Still laughable, anyone in the game would listen. Full stop, right? I'm calling it Matty Miles right here, right now. If it's not original content, and I'm still reading other people's news, and you're saying, why would anyone listen? Why do you comment on every vid? I'll tell you why, what's that, what's that magical word? Obsession. You're obsessed, Matty. And you've got a big problem. That's it, all right? See, reading news articles, which that was earlier, reading news articles and reacting to it. Everyone does that. See the top players here in the Scottish football game. CJ Novo, Ryan 118. Whoever, Footy, Adv well, Footy Adventures actually goes to games, right? They don't really show anything at games. I mean, I show more at games than they would show at games. But they all read the same stuff. They all get their information for the, for the big bad internet, for the papers, etc. So, what's this guy smoking? I'll tell you what he's smoking. He's smoking gear, crystal meth, by the sounds of it. Matty son, see if the content's that piss here. How about you leave your comments? Don't have to, don't have to post comments. You know, you can sit in your all-inclusive breakfast spa, whatever you claim that to be. Personally, I don't give a damn. All right, Matty boy, but anyway. Saranara, big man. And if you don't want to comment over in Fog Football either, you're free not to do so. So, yeah, he's an absolute fucking moonbeam, is Matty Miles. All right, son, big Matty Miles. Anyway, James Clark says... The two dark side games were corrupt. Just watch ref deck declusion decklish declusions decisions. From now on, always cheat it, never defeat it. Juicy bear, still no mention from you. But you regularly enjoy getting pumped from behind me, my almost as laughable as how piss your team is. Lol. There you go, getting stuck in there. Scalper says, funny how every club that are skin always cheat it, never defeat it. Embarrassing podcast, oh I boy, does the football guru laugh like this cast, so what are you wanting, cinch winning money, Skinto? Here, yeah. Rangers are going to be getting the, the cinch winning money anyway this season, because Celtic are fucking gash, you heard it here first. If Rangers don't win the league, I'll, uh, I don't know, we can come up with a forfeit. Scalper, I mean, there's just back and forth here. Um, brilliant, anyway, can't be arse reading it, I'm sorry. <laughs> Definitely enough back and forth. Jamie Carlin King says... See, when Celtic started counting our penalties early in the season, the media started almost backing them for doing so. I knew then Celtic are basically trying to bitch their way to a title. Their moaning works. The officials are scared stiff of Celtic. The first media backs, uh, no, sorry, the media backs Celtic even if it's an insanity and will ignore the amount Celtic are receiving. There's two ways to look at this. The first is if they're insecure, then they must know deep down they're not up to it this season. The way to look at it is that we look like voiceless cards who are basically getting bullied off the field. You know, I'll stop you there because I totally agree with this, right? Earlier on this season, that's all you heard. Even like at the start of January when Kelly got the penalty, McKinn's like, oh, of all places, Ibrox. That's a Rangers guy. That's a Rangers man. Celtic are three points, three penalties ahead also as points. And, you know, you just look at it. It's like, there's no mention of Celtic's penalties this season. There's not even a mention in the slightest about them. Like, it's a joke, honestly. Like, it is... Like, Celtic cry, there's a conspiracy against them, right? And I don't even want to cry about Rangers or... But, they, it, they basically influence the the media one way, and and you, and you know what? See if you're not biased, you'll fucking see that, right? And I know other supporters of other teams outside the old firm will say, "Oh well, the media's biased towards both old firms." And you know what? I'll happily accept that they are. Of course they are. You know they're the headlines. That's the headline news. But the reality is, last season, Cal McGregor did come out and say, "Oh well, you know it's going to take a lot for us to." Uh, order to us for all the decisions to even ourselves out and what happened S pretty much since he said that Celtic got every decision since this penalty talk I mean Celtic are three three penalties clear of the team that supposedly cheats and gets every pe a penalty a game work it out Celtic in early February are almost breaking the, re the record in a season for penalties received which is 13 they only need two more and considering they just got two in their last game they'll probably get two in their next game anyway moving on um, and I agree with the rest of the point Kind of push for time here. Colin Williams says, Pure corrupt in front of our eyes last night. No penalty should have been given to Celtic last night. Ref and Farrell way out with their decisions. 
Sharpie Staunch says, Stevie, we all know what went on last night. Even Stevie Wonder could see it. But like I've already said, Rangers won the title anyway. Yeah, you know what? I think they will win the title. Well, I don't think. I think. We, no, I know we'll win the title. Well, I say I know. That's a bit of a strong statement. But I just look at Celtic and they look shite. They look absolute shite. They do. You know, the Ross County game, the Aberdeen game, this game, they're, they're fucking dross. And here, I'll admit, it's not, like, it's not like Rangers are playing like classic football, but point is, we've closed a gap since Clement's come in, and Celtic just seemed to be getting worse, so I'll take that. YouTube's best channel. You got my username, buddy? Only joking. Uh, they should dump the Premier League, make it 18 or 20 teams like when Scottish football was strong. Absolutely agree. Um, um, absolutely agree with that. To be honest, that's got to happen. Got to happen. 18 or 20. I like that. I like when you play a team, you know, twice in a league season. So therefore, I would like it to be 19 and then it gets up to it. Dave Prost says, honestly, I was listening until you quoted the BBC. It's the Bullshit Broadcasting Corporation. All the credibility were out the window, bud. Good videos, though. Well, that's all that matters. Good videos. Um, yeah, I mean, you know what? The BBC are shite, but no, they are. I mean, to be honest, any source of media these days is fucking fake, but you got to get it from somewhere, don't you? Uh, John Zosena says, Goldson gets away with murder in this match. He gets done by Humph up the park and then proceeds... Humph? Humph? Up the park? Then proceeds to start playing basketball in our box. Aye, dead on, big man. I mean, never, never a handball. See before you comment a load of piss. Senna, how about you uh, drive your McLaren F1 car over to fucking the rule book and read it? John Fetto says, Ah, oh, this is really highlighting the mistake in not signing a top striker. We are missing way too many chances. Good free points, but we need to be more clinical. Absolutely, we do, and I, I, I don't I don't want to cry about it, right? I don't. But I think I think the one thing that will cost us in this league is a striker. I do think that. Uh, Matty Miles, he's back again. He's back again. The international volleyball player. So what? Yeah, he's fucking brilliant. He handballs the ball all the time. Two handballs in two seconds and Aberdeen still can't get a penalty at Grey Skull. <laughs> you know, honestly. Big Matty's a fun juicy bear. Keep crying, wee Matty. The cream is still dripping out of your back. Fucking hell. I, 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 did, not ex I did not expect to read that. All right? Didn't expect to read that. But, but, but. 13 points clear. Yes, I... Uh, I'll, uh, I'll do that. Big Phil drinking those Fenian tears. Keep crying, we my Just see Bear's getting stuck into you, my And also, I kind of just wanted to wrap up in this. I've seen this. This, was, this is a disaster. This is a no-go for me. A blue card being introduced to football as part of a sin bin trial. Absolutely not. I'm not a fan of this. Um, this is pish, man. This is absolute fucking shite. I do not want... See, see, take the hat off, man. Your fucking hearing goes so much better. Jesus fucking Christ. That's mad. But yeah, a blue... Hold on, what way is that going? Ah, uh, there we go. That's, that's, that's sorted. Eh, eh, no, fuck. It's because it's in the reverse camera, the lens. Anyway, no, I don't like... Simbins is pish, man. They're taking the, 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 the last, you know, string of football, the last straw of football that's left, and they're just going, fuck it. Whip it the windy. But Matty Miles, sorry for reading off this... Twitter website page, it's definitely not original content, not, not Mongo, 